What is going on, people? Welcome. Johnny here, and this is the multi space race, <laughs> multi race space race playthrough episode one. So clearly, we're in the desert. I'm in dev mode because I'm using the Empire mod, which I'm currently developing. And I have the Beastmen in, and I have the Dwarfs in. So this is my first real shot at a mixed race colony. I just want to make sure there's no weird airs popping up. So let's take a look at the pawns we're going to have here. Like I said, he's Lore of the Wild. The current spell he has is Mantle of Gorok, which will beef up a character significantly. Probably be pretty cool to do to the Dwarf, because then he'll be a real combat machine. He already is pretty good at combat with... 10 for melee skill, but I didn't manipulate any of these traits or anything or skills or anything. This is just, I just randomly generated these pawns using the dev mode, make a pawn or, you know, create pawn and then made a bunch of them and picked the one that seemed the most decent. So this guy's staggeringly ugly, but he's a fast learner, psychically dull, and he's a mage. Everybody should be in good health. I didn't want to start with any health injuries. He's, his gear is... He's got a loincloth, and then he's got a hood, a shaman hood, and a shaman robe, and then he's got his brace staff. I gave everybody some food kind of specific to what they were. This silver, I didn't, I missed the silver. I guess we'll just let it ride since we're here, but either way, he's got some jerky, which is the beast man food. Next up, we have our orc, who's a careful shooter, fast learner, but greedy. None of the orcs do intellectual, social, or caring. It was hard to generate an orc that wasn't hateful of all other races so this was the first one i got and i decided to go with him i named him dirtle after patron dirtle the first guy's thalb named after patron thalburn and this dude's this, the orc you can see he's got some pretty good stats except that orcs none of the orcs ever do these things so at least none of the shooter orcs he's got himself in terms of gear he's got an orc shooter he's got some arma an undershirt a jacket and some pants he's also got 10 meals in his pocket the drow who i named cobra after patron cobra samurai is an undergrounder abrasive because that seems pretty drow and pretty most of the drow were beautiful so i chose one that wasn't beautiful just because it seemed broken as you can see she has pretty stinking good stats i didn't even check gender on these other two i guess orcs don't appear to have gender and the beast man is male so we might end up with some weird couples here too <laughs> is the dwarf male the if the dwarf and the drow hooked up that'd be bizarre wouldn't it regardless i didn't muck with any of these stats like i said that's just how they showed up they're already rivals which makes sense uh where'd that social tab go uh, gear wise <laughs> since the drow don't have their own gear Cobra here showed up pretty well equipped with a flak helmet, marine armor, <laughs> and I gave her 10 meals. She came with the assault rifle too. You'll see in the needs section, she's already crabby for being outside. Um, not great. Wallace here, named after patron Henry Wallace, lore of life user, currently has the winter frost spell, which will cause frostbite on someone. But we're going for Life Bloom, and we're going for Regenerate. Now, these are expensive spells. This one takes four magic points to acquire, and it's pretty rare to cast. See, it takes a whole year to be able to cast it again until you really get it upgraded. You can get it down to three quadrums, and then with Life Bloom, you can grow these plants to maturity. So in the desert, that'll be useful. Hopefully, we can stand to have less crops. It does take 30 days to be able to cast it again. Um... One of the things I'm working on here is testing these Empire spells as well, just to make sure that they're balanced enough. So for a bio, Wallace has Bloodlust, <laughs> which is interesting, <laughs> and Tough, which is also interesting for a wizard. It is what it is. Uh, I'm going to remove the bad back, I think. I don't want any health issues at the beginning. Wallace is, I mean, not terribly old, 50 years old. That's Maybe for a RimWorld pawn, that's old, but... Um, happy that he's not wearing armor. They will get crabby if they're wearing armor. And then last up here, we have Grack, who started with Initial Optimism because he was one of the original pawns. Bio-wise, Quick Sleeper, Iron Will, Tough and Kind, and decent set of stats on the dwarf. I kitted him out pretty well because he's got to keep up with the freaking elf. 
uh, like I said, Iron Breaker style with the Iron Breaker gear from the Rim Hammer Dwarfs mod. And then what else? So you can see that over here. I gave him some stone bread too, so he had some meals in his pocket while we try and get established over here. And then racial bonus dwarf needs. All right, anyway, so that's what we're starting with. And then for the map, desert for the world. Ah, shit. A whole lot of desert, as you can see. So we're going to try and build our own ship. I don't want to have to make a run for the spaceship that's going to be abandoned elsewhere. But I think we're going to have to come over here. We can probably leverage these structures. And we're going to need somewhere to grow food. I also went and set up work, so you didn't have to sit through that bit of boredom. So you can kind of pause and see who's going to be doing what. There were some interesting things that I found. So Grack here has zero mining skill. Grack the dwarf. Whereas Dirtle, our orc, loves mining and has a three skill. <laughs> so the orc is a significantly better miner than the dwarf, which I found pretty funny. Um, either way, we have a decent amount of skills across the board. I left Thalbrun on as a constructor because of the double passion, so we should be able to develop a third constructor. Because this was initially a dwarf's playthrough, I think a lot of our events and pawns that randomly show up will be dwarfs. I will try and capture people. I don't know how all these mods are going to play together in terms of events. We might get drow attacking, we might get orcs, beastmen, we'll definitely get beastmen attacking. So maybe we'll try and capture some pawns. I was wondering, this spell might... Uh, no, this will actually hurt somebody and heal this guy. So I don't have a spell to incapacitate a pawn, but if the Empire attack, let's go check our factions tab. There we are. So we're friendly with the Empire already, um, so they're not going to be attacking us. And we're allied with the dwarves because we started as dwarves, but either way, let's get moving. One thing I forgot to point out is that I... Oh, nice. They're already planting. I added some research just to make things not take quite so long. This is the main tab. So I added a few of the really basic things in just to get over the initial hump. Avoid all the research crap up front. So we're going to start by deconstructing a ton of crap. We're going to get some plants in the ground. I didn't realize the growers were just going to go nuts. But that's okay. I'm tempted to put in a third zone of corn since they're kicking ass on that stuff. I think our Dark Elf, Drow, sorry, is probably going to want some Orcoid Fungus. Is that how you get more orc Orcs? Uh, no. Probably going to want some drugs at some point, but we can do Dwarven Tobacco, Smoke Leaf. We have a few easy early options. I tried to make the research that I granted reflect that. All right, let's do corn there. We're going to have to be able to protect this stuff. We should have a shit ton of materials. What are these walls? These are steel. What are these walls? All right, we're going to, for the time being, just flesh this all out with some of this antique wood. We should probably have a door over here. We're going to have to get bedrooms and such done before too long. All right, I better wait to see what kind of materials we end up with. We're doing deconstruction. I nabbed a table from down there, so... We had a place to eat as well, and I think we're going to go ahead and put some, what is that? That is the antique wood, so let's get some stools put in sooner rather than later. We could build Beastman stools, but we're not going to go that route. I wonder, uh, where is, there it is. Yeah, I can build antique or natural wood stools. All right, we're going to do antique wood stools for the minute, just so that we have somewhere to sit. Might consider leaving this stuff in place. Oh, there's some floors I forgot to peel up. So food being number one priority. Looks like we have some plasteel down here. That's fantastic. Uh, you know what else might be a good early game priority is to get some kind of recreation in place. So let's go ahead and build that right there so they can toss some horseshoes. All right, now we're going to want a dumping stockpile zone to get all these blocks put somewhere. We'll go ahead and get that taken care of. Hall, 
Oh, that zone's probably not going to be big enough for all this. Not the wood, buddy. Alright, so hopefully we can get to a point where we're meeting the basic needs before too long here. I'm going to put a stockpile zone in as well. For materials. And that should be like steel and whatnot. Hopefully we get more of that wood. <laughs> we might not be able to build everything I wanted to build there. Until they get to the rest of this deconstruction. Yeah, we'll, we'll figure it out though. So I want floors, beds. I think for the first night, sadly, we're going to have to do the old sleeping spot trick. I wanted a door over here too. Alright, we have dark wood now. Let's do some dark wood doors. It might be hard to get the material together to be doing dark wood, dark wood. Like, there's not going to be a lot of leather around, so some things are going to be pretty tricky to make. I don't know why they just stopped constructing altogether. Ah, because they're out of material, but they have enough to do some basic stuff. Ah, Dirtle, why did you botch that? Construction 4, botched. <laughs> I suppose I probably could have built a roof over this too at some point. I missed a spot over here as well. So they should rush this in the morning first thing. And I'm going to do a little more deconstruction over here. And we have some steel laying about. Oh, I should probably claim everything we want to keep also. There you go. This needs to move as well. Cheers to the patrons. Alexander, Biking, Brandon, Chu on disc, Cobra, Samurai, Cornel, B, Dapper, Go, Dirtle, Dave, Thalburn, Dimitri, Rurikid, Zazzle, Excelsior, Frederick, Garrett, Hemlock, Henry, Wallace, Josh, Grace, Michael, Rakestraw, Mike, Ferrero, Shiggy, Nataziel, and Tyronex, Typhios. Everybody gets a slept outside penalty. But at least they're roofed over now. And I could probably then put their food down somewhere where they'll actually use it. I'm going to make this a food storage zone. This will be important, clear. Foods, no hay, no kibble. There you go. All right, we, he's eating a piece of cheese, but we don't have a lot of it around. Let's take everybody inside and drop food. We have some pretty crabby people already. For whatever reason. Alright, we're down to eight meals on that, dude. I didn't intend to have any silver. I think I destroyed all material that was laying around the map as well. In terms of the steel and other things that players typically start with. Okay, let's get some deconstruction done, dudes. Alright, I set up a bunch of hunting jobs. I've got everything covered over. I don't know how the hunting's going to go. <laughs> oh, there we go. There's the orc shooting the orc shooter. Holy shit! Salting spree for cobra. Now, why did that happen? Unsightly environment. Yeah, I guess I could maybe put a floor in over here. We have limestone blocks. This is f slate flagstone. They're running around doing deconstruction. Uh, let's... Really, I'm just trying to get some material together to make a bed for beast man i want to make beds themed to the race i don't have anything great for the drow but everybody else i think uh dirtle the orc can end up using some of the beast man stuff so we need production butcher spot we need a light in here too add a bill butcher creature do forever details if it's in our radius Ah, uh, that radius might be a tiny bit small. There you go. Let's do that. Now, we need a light in here. We're really... I went around and chopped a bunch of cacti down. That's a bit problematic, though, because there's not going to be any, any regrowing anytime soon. So, where to go from here? What kind of light do we want? So, furniture, probably... Uh, once we start butchering critters, we can probably build a candle... Right now we don't have any, but we should get some soon. Do I have anybody set to cook? Yes, I have two people set to cook. And we're doing alright for food. Holy shit. <laughs> alright, let's uh, let's get on the ignore tip on that. There you go. Alright, we're getting insulted. Only got nine fat from that thing. Did we get any lizard skin? We did. Fantastic. Alright, we have hyena revenge. We better go... Ah, 
That orc shoot is nuts. I don't think it's very accurate, but it sprays a shit ton of bullets. Look at this. This guy's insulting that guy. Let's see. He needs insulted four times. Oh my god, look at his mood. Ah, oh, slept outside, slept on the ground. What's this room look like? It's awful. Minus 30. Alright, let's see if we can't put some floors in. We have a bunch of marble. This is going to be relatively temporary. I'm going to do this basic stuff here. I wish it was an easy way to select things that didn't already have a floor. It's just not the case at, at the minute though, as far as I'm aware. Alright, now there's the social fight that was going to ensue due to the insult. Maybe we just floor this damn thing over the easy way because this is such a hassle. We don't have any meds either, so we're going to have to watch that. Alright, these guys social fought. I'm going to make them tend each other to see <laughs> if I can get them to become a little bit more friendly with each other. I don't know if that works. I'm going to also make this cat do some cleaning since he seemed to be the winner. Beat up poor Wallace there. Yeah, we haven't had anybody do any cleaning in here, too. That would probably help the situation a bit. And then, next goal, get these things butchered. We should probably start doing something with that meat. I think with the Beastmen, we can preserve the meat. The temperatures are pretty well varied here, day to night. Just typical desert stuff. So if we go to production, can I preserve meat yet? I don't think I've done that research. Let's go double check Beastman research. Meat preservation. Shit. That's a no. What are you doing? Oh, you're feeding him a piece of bread. <laughs> that is such a nice Beastman. He's feeding that dude. Alright, now we have a little light to work by. Construction botched. Alright, they're going to get the floors put in. Then we're going to figure out how to get some beds done. I want somebody to be doing some butchering. Wallace should get on top of that. He is. We're not doing the best we can. What else do we have for wildlife? Alright, we're hunting every single thing on the map. Good thing we went with the desert critters. How does the orc and the dwarf feel about each other? Oh, they're getting friendly already. Those guys are doing alright. These guys, however. Uh, the, oh, yeah, the drow, not very friendly with anybody else. Probably considers himself superior. You know how those guys are. Alright, it looks like we ran out of marble here. So let's cancel that and swap over to limestone. Since that's what we have. I should. Nope. Can't make it easy, can you, Remworld? There might be a switch to do that. I just want to drag it and anywhere that's not floored, I want to get floored. I don't know if we have enough material to finish all the ones they started supplying blocks for. Looks like we do all of them except this one. So let's do that. I don't know why Wallace hasn't had a mental break yet. Like, this is out of hand. I set up a fire so we could start cooking meals with the food. I'm just going to cook everything we have for now. The meats, we're going to lose a bunch of that meat, but it is what it is. Either way, we'll get a cook trained up and that's one of the main goals hey we have a visitor who's our social cat three don't be the orc he doesn't do it at all okay it looks like the dwarf ironically enough is our social dude oh ooh, they have four meds well we'll put that money to good use except we'll take it let's put the meds in here too I'm trying to keep things that are going to spoil in here, but this zone is filled up, so let's expand that out a bit. I don't see any cooking going on. We wanted meds in this zone over here. Manufactured medicine. There you go. All right. I have to check the time. Uh, can I get somebody? So how's this room now? It's still negative 31 awful. <laughs> Wallace, maybe do some cleaning in here, partner. Do I have the cleaning zone mod? I do. Fantastic. Maybe cleaning this room up will make it halfway decent. Like, the size alone should make it nice, right? Can I see the filth in here? Oh, it's freaking everywhere. The sand is going to be a problem. Whenever... Uh, orcs probably... Orcs will clean, right? Yeah, buddy. 
What's this? This was a failed construction on marble, so we're going to have to go and put a different floor there as well. All right, well, I'm going to have to wrap this one up here. Thank you guys very much for watching. This has been fun. This should be a real hoot. <laughs> We've already got some calling this the racial harmony playthrough. <laughs> Uh, we've already got some disharmony. I don't know why this dude hasn't snapped yet. Like, he's been in the dumps for a long while. It's just a matter of time, right? And they seem to prefer the cheese over everything. I'd like Grack to go ahead and repair. I'm used to the dwarf being a constructor, but he's actually pretty terrible at that. Man. Anyway, leave a like. I appreciate it. It helps me out. Leave a comment. I do respond. Yeah, we're still gathering resources from around. There's all kinds of shit we're going to deconstruct. I went around and put deconstruct and floor pull-up jobs on all the structures around. I left the road intact. I think it looks cool. Regardless. All right, we made it to Mediocre. Hopefully that helps some. Leave a... Oh, I already said leave a comment. <laughs> I appreciate you guys spending some time with me today. Consider some support, please. I spend a lot of time on these playthroughs on these mods especially. Help me out if it's in your power to do so. Any way you can. There's your tantrum. What's he going to destroy? Things in her room. Yeah, I'll leave you on that note. I'll see you guys next time.